Hey, what is up guys? My name is Alan. You guys probably know me as the guy who play video games all day, FPS games and stuff. Uh, but today is a different video. Today I'm actually going to show you how I make this mic sound better. And as you guys noticed, the audio sounds different. Why does it sound different? Well, this is the audio of this mic out of the box. Yeah, this is just how it sounds directly plugged into the motherboard. Just a reminder, I don't use any USB sound cards, which by the way, it comes with the mic. So you have this. If you use a laptop, you would have to use this one because you probably have the single thingy. So you plug this in and then you plug the head your headphones and the mic in here but i don't use this again i do have it plugged directly into the motherboard which is basically in my computer and by the way i don't use any pop filter you guys are probably asking what a pop filter is it is something like this so basically pop 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 does that make any difference well it removes the pop i don't use this because usually i have the microphone around here in this level my voice usually isn't directly you know facing the mic uh but yeah i'll show you guys around how i have it set up on my computer on softwares by the way everything would be free there's some softwares you're gonna be installing some stuff and uh, please pay attention because I'm, I'm a very bad teacher so you guys use your big brain moves to understand what i'm actually saying <laughs> no I'm, I'm i'm going to try all right i'm going to try let's move into my display capture i don't use any phantom power first things first so we're in my desktop right first things first i want you guys to install some programs so first of all update your drivers that is very necessary you would need hd audio manager or something like that it sometimes looks a bit different so it looks like this for me some of you to some of you it would probably look a bit different uh this one is specifically with the gigabyte logo in it because my motherboard is gigabyte it pretty much looks exactly the same with uh, any other version of the software just make sure you have one if you guys do not have one try to update windows first try using a, an auto driver update software or i'll link something in the description and you guys might find that one useful uh, but yeah you would need a virtual audio cable which is by the way basically a virtual audio mic driver does that make sense well it's a virtual audio device and um you would need this so just pick whatever you use windows or mac so in my case i use windows just download this make sure you have winrar or 7-zip um 7-zip usually comes with windows nowadays you just basically drag the file out of that folder and then install this particular application right here now this is your first selection you can use voice meter which is the simplest one by the way um i'm making you pick Long well, story short, it does the same thing, but there's more inputs on the other one. Just pick the one that you're most comfy with. I use banana. So basically banana is perfect for me because it's free and it has the most input. Now every settings and every stuff would be the same for all of the three softwares right here. Also potato. Now this potato one, you would have to pay for it and that's why I don't use it. But yeah, first things first, you want to open up real tech audio driver the first thing that i've showed you before so you're probably asking where is my microphone here alan and i can't seem to find it um you know bm800 is not in my list well it wouldn't be uh you plug it in it's probably labeled different so you just want to go here again i would have some links down there just so you guys know what to do and you guys can follow uh but yeah i have everything labeled this is all of my inputs right here i have this labeled mic bm800 just so i know i have the mic rear blue which is the other plug behind my motherboard i have the c920 microphone right here this one is already labeled you might want to rename it and uh, make your lives a bit more easier i'm uh, finding it later when we actually need to find it uh, but yeah uh, the easiest way to do is just go double click it rename this after you found it by the way uh, but if you still haven't found it you can click listen to this device check this box click apply and then you know you're gonna hear the feedback of your mic you're probably gonna know that that's the one by knocking the microphone while you're doing that to all of your input devices anyway after finding your microphone that's a very long explanation guys bear with me all right by the end of this trip you guys would know how does my microphone sound better than some of your guys' microphone probably um even though it's just the same model go back into real tech audio hd driver right here and make sure to copy this setting all right this is the magic the first magic you guys probably hear some audio echoing or some noise probably make sure to click the noise suppression after clicking that you want to click the acoustic echo cancellation now the sound would probably sound a bit more muffled but it will reduce a lot of the background noise that you have in your room now the thing is um it'll it'll probably still sound a bit more quiet right now i'm talking right into the microphone just so you guys can hear me but on my streams you probably have noticed that I have it quite far and it's not directly into my mouth. Does that make sense? In this particular computer, I have it set into plus 10 decibels on gain. Now you guys can check your gain by listening. You know, maybe it sounds too harsh or it's too loud. 
make sure to lower this down now if you guys have it quiet still on 10 increase it buff it up buff it up by plus 10 or plus 10 again and stuff so on my old computer so apparently there's different DAX on every motherboard so this one actually has a good one uh, which has a very good pickup from the no you know I can't be too advanced there's people watching this just wanting to see how to make the microphone sounds good so I'm just gonna tell you guys that just like fiddle, fiddle around with this one fiddle around with this one check if it would sound better uh, by increasing or making it lower make sure that it's not clipping make sure that everything is still clear and everything is audible and there's no distortion we're done with this one we're done again I'm using voice meter banana and this is how it looks like now Alan there's so many stuff in here what to what do I do? It's actually pretty easy. Don't mind the other tabs. Mind the hardware input one. That's all I want you to do. Just focus on the first one, right? So hardware input one, I have it set as the mic BM800. Again, labeling your microphone will make everything a lot faster. That's why I told you guys to do the thing that I've done. Uh, but yeah, mic BM800. Now, this is an equalizer. Uh, you can put it up, you can put it on the right, you can put it low, whatever. This is an equalizer. Uh, so I want more bass from the mic because it fits my voice very well, very bassy. So I have this from here, which is by the way the default, to here. Now you guys can fiddle around. Again, we do have different sounding voices. Is that, is that right? Different sounding voice. So make sure to experiment with, you know, with your own voice, with your own thing right here. But yeah, I would have it set like that. More bass to my voice sounds better. And I have it set like that because again, my voice is bassy and something. Now you can experiment with the other settings in here. You know, you can, this is by the way, a virtual gain. So, you know, you would hear more of the back background noise and stuff once you increase this now you can compress your voice as you up this ratio then the compressor will compress your voice more now I don't use this because it introduced more of the background noise that I don't want you guys to hear so we're not going with that one a uh, noise gate just look at the bar right it's not gonna affect the voice or how it sounds right now because I but I uh, just look at this bar it goes down because uh, I'm not speaking and that's what an audio gate would do. Now, next thing, I have it only set into A1. Don't mind the B1, by the way. Just the A1 and this one sends it into the A1. Got that one? Cool. Um, on the A1, make sure you have your cable input selected. Now, Alan, what is a cable input? Remember, I've told you to, you know, install the cable output. That's the one. Um, just select that and you're good. Now, how would you actually have this program do all this stuff? And how would you use the virtual microphone driver that, you know, the A1? Remember, A1, the cable output. How are we going to use that? Well, um... I would drag OBS into the main window right here. So this is basically OBS on my site. Uh, I have it all custom and stuff to how I want it in, in my second monitor. But how would I do it? Go into settings, go into audio. And then as you can see right here, desktop audio, you know, your whatever you hear, you guys probably have this all, all set and stuff. So on my mic, instead of having it selected with a BM800, or I want the cable output selected instead. Do that. Click apply. All right, I think it is now working. And um, did that made it sound a bit more better? Hopefully it did. But anyway, there's one more step actually in the um, OBS. So I use another filter. It's just another VS2 plugin. Uh, you guys can get this one by going into and Voxengo, Marvel GEQ free. Just go into the site, download the VST, VS3 AAX for Windows. Just click that, download, and you are good to go. Now you're gonna, um, I just moved the OBS tab. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have this filter on my mic and it'll just add a bit more bass on the mic. I think this is basically how my stream have it sounding. And um, yeah, I don't know if this video actually helped you, but if it did, then uh, that's amazing. If it did not, then uh, that's rip rip. Uh, this is how I have it, by the way. This is basically an equalizer. I don't know how to explain this, guys. I'm so sorry I'm not an audio professional. I just know how to use it, I guess. I'm a very bad teacher as well, but so basically this is the middle part. Let's just say this is how your waveform works. So basically the middle part, I have it stayed as mostly normal, uh, but the very low part, I actually have it um, boosted a bit. Does that make sense? 
I don't know how to explain it, but you guys can fiddle around with this and or you can copy the settings actually and uh, make sure to listen. By the way, how do you listen to your mic once everything is, you know, working? You guys go back to your OBS, go to advanced audio properties and on your mic or auxiliary record um, tab, you just want to click on monitor and then monitor only and then mute output. You can do both. Uh, you still hear yourself. Uh, but yeah, I'll be ending the video here. And that is basically, again, you guys use the Realtek HD audio manager and the um, the voice meter banana. Uh, really wish that uh, that did help you guys because if it did not then uh, the video is a failure and um, if it did then I'll feel happy probably help someone that is asking why or how do I have my mic sound like this. Just a reminder guys don't speak too close don't speak too far from the mic make sure you have it equal on your mouth. Uh, usually on stream I have it like this so it's right here I don't know why and then I have okay this is a tip this is a tip give me a sec Apparently it's called an XLR cable and I keep saying auxiliary for some reason. It's about moment, Alan. I'm so sorry guys, but hey, okay, this is how an XLR cable look like. Yeah, usually if you buy the BM800, it comes with this XLR to a 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, which allows you to connect it right into your motherboard. But hey, don't, don't mind this, don't mind this. I just want you to look at the XLR head, which is basically this one. Uh, usually the BM800 actually has its front faced right where this is faced. So right now, this part right here is right on me, facing me. And that's how I know it is the front of the microphone. I know the BM800 looks very symmetrical in every corner, but the only front part of it is this part with the aux cable um yeah that is that is my tutorial i guess with the bm800 hopefully um you guys find it helpful and um if you guys did make sure to hit that like in this particular video share it with your friends and um i don't know where this is actually going to be posted probably on the page and on the group i'll go join our group kila crew i uh, just search for it it'll pop up make sure to answer the questions and drop by my streams because um i stream every tuesday thursday saturday or sunday some valorant and some PUBG. and um feel free to join me i guess and um yeah uh, if you guys do have more questions and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Again, thank you so much for watching and um, yeah, goodbye. This is so weird, by the way. My hand gestures are so weird.